going into the articulation, I haven't even fiddled with the articulation yet, so we'll, we'll have a little look around here. Okay, so comic book guy moves head, moves arms, obviously. Um, this squishy's just falling down. Come on, squishy! 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 Bear with for one second. And I will call him my squishy and he will be mine. And he, oh, we're back on top. Um, yeah. So, he has... <laughs> he has his shoulder articulation as standard with these LEGO mini clicks. He has wrist articulation. Both of his legs can move. It's all good. He can move his head, his other arm will move as well. I just don't want to drop that other accessory. <laughs> Smithers, I think it's going to be the same for all of these, isn't it? So yeah, arm, wrist, neck. Just say you want to stand. Legs, yep, yeah, same as normal. For him. For Edna, we have... Same thing again, it looks like. These down just fall off by themselves now. Um, really smooth neck articulation, actually. That's not stiff at all. Um, and then her legs can move surprisingly well with the dress. So everyone can do the can-can. Hey! Right, moving on to Passy. I keep nearly saying Zelma. Um, yeah, so same thing there. Head move all the way around. Well, our sound can fall off. That's, that's, that's the new action fe feature they've just added. Uh, all the sounds just pop off whenever they feel like it. Um, yeah, the accessories aren't the best secured in their hands on these ones, they just seem to want to pop out. Um, so you got the arms, the wrist, that handbag hasn't topped out yet, but you never know. And she can also do the can-can. Hey, right. And then Bartman, he can move his head, and he can move his arms, and he can move his wrists. I don't want to pop that slingshot out, so we'll just keep using different arms. Uh, I mean, yeah, move the wrist. Ow! Aha! He has little person legs, so he cannot move them. So there is some variation with the articulation. So Bart's not quite as good as the rest of them, I think. What's the standard articulation like? Eight points or something? No. No, it's not eight, it's um. Well, mate, it'll be a odd number. Boy, I think it's seven or nine. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, seven. That's articulation, but with Bart, that is reduced to five. So that kind of sucks for him. Uh, moving on to everyone's favourite, trying to leave the review category. We have the accessories. So they all come with this black. Stand and again, I wish they were sort more Simpsons themed, but you can use them with any Lego figure, and they're not franchise specific, so I guess that's good if you can just display any of them like that, even if you've lost stands for them or they didn't come with stands, like if they came in a set, for instance. Um, and then we've got some lots of character specific accessories. We'll do Smithers first, which is the furthest left, and I'll just move along the table. So, Smithers got. I've put them on the wrong stand, haven't I? Hang on. Hang on, right. This actually reminds me of something. It's a good thing I have that checklist still. Right. So Smithers comes with a stand and he comes with his Malibu Stacy doll in the box. This is actually two pieces that you stick together. Um, that's a really cool reference to the show. I think that was a really good idea for an accessory for him. Um, and not necessarily an expected one, so that was good. It's really not focusing well on this, but there we go, okay, so you can see it now. Weirdly, the Malibu Stacey isn't Lego, and that kind of annoys me, but 
What can you do? I guess it could be one of those mini doll things like have with Lego friends. I think, that's what I think that's what they're called, but I don't know. Moving on to Comic Book Guy, who has possibly the best accessories. Um, he has a comic book, because he's a guy who likes comic books, as implied by the name. It is Everyman, which I don't remember there being one on this show. I don't remember... Every man. I remember Biclops, I remember Radioactive Man, um, but I don't remember Every Man. So, what can you do? I want I wanted him to come with a Radioactive Man number one, really. Oh well. Maybe Radioactive Man will come with that if we ever do get him, and I hope we do because we have a Fallout Boy now, so. It's kind of odd that we got a Fallout Boy before a Radioactive Man. Either the comic version or the, like, Rainier Wolf Castle version, but. Again, what what can you do? That's my catchphrase this episode, I guess. Um, Patsy comes with the probably the worst accessory. It's just a handbag. Doesn't she work at the DMV as well as Selma? Because Selma comes with like an eye chart. Wait, why do they need an eye chart? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I was like, wait, is she an obsession? I forgot. Oh no. Um, so I've, maybe she come with something to do with that. I think they should have put Selma with Jub Jub, really, and then. Maybe have Patty have some sort of DMV type thing, like, I don't know, a traffic cone or something. This just seems really generic. I mean, she probably does have this handbag on the show. I mean, this is Lego. They probably wouldn't just pull it out of their butt. But, yeah, I mean, we got a purse with Marge, so, in Series 1. I think we've got another purse with her, actually. I think our purse wasn't the best accessory for Marge, either. But, yeah, we get another purse, because everyone likes purses. I guess that's... It makes for some good roleplay with the Quickie Mart, though. So that's good. Bartman has... If Comic Book Guy doesn't have the best accessories, then Bart has, and I just realized I forgot. Uh, Comic Book Guy comes with the Squishy, of course, which is really, really cool. And finally... I didn't finish Bartman yet. Um, so he comes with a cape, which is really cool. And he comes with a stand and a slingshot, which is really awesome. Um, the original Bart came with a skateboard. I'm not sure what one house comes with. I think he came with, I think he came with a skateboard as well. Uh, maybe some other stuff. I don't know. But yeah, that that's really awesome. Really cool Bart variation. Kind of an obvious one as well. So I'm, I'm glad we've got one. And I'm especially glad because I missed out on Bart the first time. So now I have a Bart. Um. And then we have um, Edna Krabappel, who comes with a mug, just a normal mug, and this picture of some dude, and I have no idea who this is. It begins! Oh, quick test. Oh my god! I did not expect that to happen, okay. So with the accessories, they all kind of suck at standing up, if you happen to have a really, really loud train go by. I don't know. The voice actress for Marcia Wallace passed away recently. Um, so, it just, it makes sense, I think, to just go. Just go away. Put her on the stand. And it makes sense to just, just, do you like my home makeup? They're quite nice, aren't they? Put them all in the frame. There we go, they look quite cool. I might keep them out actually. Um, keep them out here. But it makes sense to have just. We'll have a few seconds of silence just to remember Marcia Wallace um, and how much that great character left an impression on the world. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time. What's up? I'm Batman. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to check out the other reviews in the figure reviews playlist, and whatever else is on this dumb channel. I'm gonna go now, I gotta stop the Joker. Grin cover for me!